19 minutes. Right. As you can see, finished uh, cutting in the infill bits for the beehive. I'm just making the roof a bit now. Roxy, if you knock my Java over, I weren't going to have a Java today, but some billy fucking big bollocks decided to uh, phone me up and wind me up while I was out in the garden doing that. I don't know what he'd been reading because he was talking about um, not meeting at the uh, probation, whatever it is, at the industrial unit. Bloody, bloody, blah. So I listened and he asked me if I understood and I said I heard it. He already agreed to uh, attend the appointment where he asked me to attend it. So then he starts threatening me. <laughs> After the week I've had mate, trust me you don't want to be fucking winding me up. I've just proved where it's all coming from. So I told him what happened when I went to get me 160 quid out the uh, cash point. Got me 160 quid out, went and done me shopping. So that's the second place that I've told. Explained about the bank card in the cash point afterwards. Explained about it all being electronic interference. So can't pay my court fine, so you know, better not be some other little trap or game, you know, asking me to uh, go to the court. You know what I mean? I said, don't play games with me. I'm sick of it all now. I'm doing what I was asked to do. Tending my appointments. I haven't got a problem with anyone. Living in peace, enjoying my music, making a beehive. Getting me shopping. Can't get about at the moment because of my disability. Because of my disability claims magically started uh, being messed about with all my bank account. Couldn't give a shit anymore. Put it all right now. It's your only choice. Cool, that was a ripper, wasn't it, Roxy? So, uh, yeah, three scoops of Java in my cappuccino, and then a cafeteria Java to keep the energy levels up. Because I think they need teaching another lesson for being cheeky. I fucking understand. Well, they choose their names very carefully and it just so happens that the woman that I wouldn't name has got a son by the name of the probation officer. How funny is that? So do I stand under? Let me just... Let me just... Point at that finger up there, look. Do I stand under? Someone twice the size of me? Do I? No, of course I don't. Got a nice cut. Nice cup of napalm here. Nice and sweet and sticky. Give me loads of energy. And if you have the wrong silly games going on, it'll peel off a face like napalm. No 
So I'm just uh, carrying on what I was doing. I did tell him, don't play games with me, didn't I? Told him about the uh, corrupt policewoman that come to my door as well. Being sent there about a neighbourhood dispute. Yeah, now if the judge has already decided that the neighbourhood dispute is over, why is some cunt trying to keep it going? Because she's just revealed herself as the instigator. If you see what I mean. So two blokes got played against themselves by an instigator. Just like I said all along. Now I want my name cleared and that's what I told him. I want the black mark took off my fucking passport in case I ever settle down in life and I want to go abroad on an honeymoon or something. Get it fucking sorted. And that's how he left. The call. After threatening me and I'd already given my word that I was going to attend the appointment as per judge's instructions. So there's no hostile intent, no other bullshit that the other female probation or responsible officers have been claiming. I'm sort of... Uh, Letting it all blow up in their faces now, aren't I? How funny is that? And then putting it publicly for the world to see. I'm just sitting in the ruins of uh, the life they destroyed, aren't I? Building something better. Helping nature along. While well, they're all playing their silly games. <laughs> who's the wise and who's the fools now? <laughs>